formerly an operating nurse. Diane is the woman behind Ask Diane, a service she founded and managed for Mentor Corporation for 15 years. Her remarkable career as a nurse came to an early end when, while in her home, she was buried alive, 30 feet deep, for four and a half hours, in the 2005 La Conchita landslide. In just eight seconds, everything about her life was changed forever. 10 people died, 27 homes were buried in the largest mountain landslide in US history. Diane was the last survivor rescued. Diane has published numerous articles for Plastic Surgical Nursing Journal, newsletters and brochures, and has written a book about her experience. She's an accomplished speaker who inspires audiences with her incredible story of hope, love, and survival. Let us welcome Diane. through the day like a blur. Our lives are busy. We hop off and rush from task to task, thinking about the past, planning for the future. And we're often left at the end of the day wondering just what we've experienced, if anything at all. January 10th, 2005, while in the safety of my home, I was suddenly stopped in my tracks and made to look at my life differently. In just eight seconds, I was buried alive, 30 feet deep, four and a half hours with a two foot by two foot airspace. While I struggled to survive, I thought about my life. It became clear to me how precious and valuable this wonderful thing called life on earth really is. What a miracle. And how fragile it is. When I was buried alive, I thought I'd seen the earth for the last time. I had one last glimpse of the ocean and the sky as the mountain came down on me like this. And I thought that was the last thing I'd seen. I was so incredibly sad that it changed the way I viewed nature forever. I never wanted to take any aspect of this life for granted again. And in that silent stillness, I surrendered the helplessness of my situation to a higher being. And I found peace of being within. About six months later, I was lucky enough to go to the uh, 4th of July celebration, the symphony at the Santa Barbara Courthouse Sunken Gardens. If you've ever been there, it's a beautiful lawn area with different levels, rose gardens and palm trees, the Spanish style architecture of Santa Barbara. It's a beautiful sunny day. The orchestra, full on orchestra with conductor was playing the music of our country. I was so overwhelmed by the beauty of the day, I became emotional. I lay down on the picnic blanket and buried my head, gave thanks for surviving so that I could enjoy that day. Once the tears were controlled, I lifted my head again, and sort of like this, I was looking through the lawn chairs, watching the conductor you know, orchestrate like a dance the music sounds that were coming out. In my path through the chairs was this little white flower nestled in perfectly green blades of grass. I came overwhelmed with emotion again. From the magnificent sky and music to the tiny little hidden away white flower. This is the kind of appreciation for nature that we need to capture in our lives. Marvel at the changes of nature. 
Enjoy the simple things, the sound of the rain and the wind, the beauty of the mountains and the ocean. Immerse yourself in life. Experience sadness, happiness, pleasure, fright. Be alone without feeling lonely. And when things aren't going so well, what do we do then? Well, Shakespeare said, nothing is either good or bad, but our thinking makes it so. Except for now, what you cannot enjoy has something you must do for now. And remember, change is inevitable. When I was buried, and I thought I'd seen the earth for the last time, I thought about all the silly things I'd worried about. I thought, this was a bad day. <laughs> life changes in a moment. It was the worst day of my life, but years later, it has become the best thing that happened to me. Life can change in a moment. External security is an illusion. Learn to live with uncertainty and watch the new possibilities unfold. Have faith, my father said. I've carried that with me through my life and that day. It's not about a perfect life. It's about our attitudes towards life experiences that matter. It's not the way life ends that defines that life but the way a life is lived. So, are you rushing through life to the finish line? Or are you enjoying the journey? Walk through this world with wonderment. Immerse yourself in life and never for one minute take this precious thing called life for granted. Thank you.